Hello Centennial, this is Pastor Leah. Um, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who know, I'm Pastor Leah. It's good to be with all of you today. And I thought I wanted to just convey some things through video. It would be easier to do. And these things are in particular related to our Roseville campus. And what I wanted to talk about are some of the communication changes that we are, and worship changes that we're rolling out on Sunday. And before I do that, I am recording this at my home in Minneapolis, and in particular in Jeff and I, he's my husband, Jeff, he's very secretive, you probably haven't seen him much, um, but in our library. And we love our library. As you'll see, we have a ton of books back there. We have a whole section of books there and over in the corner. We love our library. We love knowing that we can tangibly go grab some knowledge or a good read anytime that we would like. And Jeff and I, because it's our library, we know what sections are what. I know where to find Tina Fey's bossy pants. Jeff knows where to find Alfred Whitehead's process and theology. And we both know where to find our Bible commentaries as we are both religious leaders. So we know how our library is set up. And that's what we need to know because we live here. However, when we have new guests, when we host and we have parties over here, they don't need to know where to find all of particular kinds of books. They can just ask us and we can find that. What they need to know is where's the bathroom? Uh, where's the trash can? Uh, sometimes where's a drink of water? Uh, maybe where is some food or where to sit? And because those are things that our new guests, our, our friends need to know when they visit, we try and make those just really easy for them to find. And if there's anything else, they can connect with us and obviously ask us a question. So this Sunday and for the whole of Lent, we as clergy, along with Manny Ascara and Kurt Cumbrell's new guest and branding teams through MCCI, we are all going to begin a Great Lent experiment, we've been calling it. And that experiment has two parts. One, which is some new print media communications. And the other, with our worship planning team and Pastor Whitney and Jerry, is about some of our worship stuff. So, the first big part of our Lent experiment is reformatting our bulletins on Sunday, as some of you might have seen this past Sunday in, um, in the narthex. And we're doing that with the same spirit that Jeff and I, that you, when you host new people, um, have, which is how do we get the right information to the right people? Our new guests, they just don't need to know every single thing that is happening at Centennial. Uh, what they do need to know is the basics of what to expect on Sunday morning, and if there is an event or two that they can attend that um, they will be invited to and welcome at as new people, as strangers. And so because of that, as well as for environmental sustainability reasons, we use a lot of paper. We are cutting down on the paper and we are simplifying the bulletin that we will hand to you on Sunday. And part of that is a reusable folder and the other part is some inserts that you can take home, that you can give to us, things like that. Very differently though, you as engaged participants need to know about what's happening at Centennial this week and throughout the month. That's really important and we want you to have the information that you need. So we will still have our Centennial news available on Sundays. It will just be in the narthex where you can pick up um, and find the information that you need. Um, because everyone doesn't need to know all of the information, we're not going to include that in our bulletins. But because a lot of people do need it, we are still going to have it available, just in a different spot. And you'll also notice in the new Centennial News that our This Week schedule has returned, for those of you who've been missing it for a while. And so um, those are kind of the important parts of our changes on Sunday with our bulletins. And then we also are going to have a new website that will be rolled out. It will be kept up to date because it will be functional and easy to use. And a huge thanks to Paul Praduk and Manny Ascara and Dave Dreger for making this new website basically for free. It's incredible. It's incredible. I've learned a lot. So, so that's that. That's some of our communications changes that are happening. <sighs> Deep breath. 
And then finally, Pastor Whitney and Jerry and the worship design team um, are really excited for us at the Roseville campus to really live into our identity as offering inspiring and engaging um, traditional worship. And so we are going to begin to follow more closely the Book of Discipline, which is our, um, not the Book of Discipline, the United Methodist Book of Worship, which is sort of our blueprint on how we as Methodists worship um, full of tradition. And the major part of that, I mean, really, it's going to feel the same. The major difference is that every Sunday we will be taking communion because that's what our Book of Worship um, encourages us to do for traditional worship. And John Wesley, our founder, who is incredible and inspiring, um, read his sermons. They're very good. Um, he encouraged his followers to take communion as often as you can, if not every day, several times a day. And so I, I don't know about you, but I am looking forward to, and we as a team are looking forward to connecting more deeply with our tradition and with God through the tangible elements of bread and of juice. And I don't know if you're anything like me, um, but sometimes on Sunday, I get a little tired of just sitting and listening. So I always like the opportunity during worship to get up, to move my body, to walk around, and to have a little snack. It helps me stay more engaged and help me not fall asleep accidentally. This never happened. So anyway, folks, take a deep breath. There are a lot of changes happening. And they are happening in your home. And we recognize the difficulty of some of that. We also think, I also think, that we have an awesome home. And the more that we can help people easily and simply connect with our home, our church, the better. And not only that, but the more that we can help you as engaged participants get what you need when you need it, the better. The better it is a home for everybody who comes into our doors. And we as clergy, I as a human, know that change is really hard. I don't like it a lot. And that's why we're offering this as a Lent experiment. We want to just give it a try. See how it goes. And as you are experiencing it, if you feel that these changes negatively impact your ability to love God and your ability to love others, then we want to know. Because the main reason we exist as a church is to love Jesus and to love the people that are around us. People that we know and people who are strangers. And so if these changes get in the way with that, that's a problem. And we want to make um, other things happen so that we can love God and we can love others. So... Our hope and our prayer and our hunch, I think, is that once we get through this initial learning curve, which, you know, it's just going to be things kind of, you know, new things, and everyone's been through that. But once we get through that, our prayer is that these things will help us be more active and authentic and thinking people who create loving and just communities for everybody, strangers, new guests, neighbors, familiar people, long-time engaged participants of Centennial's church community. We hope that these changes will help us all love God and love our neighbor better. So thanks for your time. Whew, that was a lot of information. And I hope that you ask questions, that you help us help you love God and love your neighbor better through these changes and through all that we do at Centennial. So I'm done with my word here. Um, spread the news, share this video, and I hope that we see all of you at our Ash Wednesday services tonight, whether it be at the Roseville or the St. Anthony Park campus. Both services are at 7, and we hope to see you there as we gather, as we sing and pray, as we receive communion, as, as we are marked with ashes, remembering that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. All right. Thanks, Centennial community. You are amazing. I'm grateful to work with you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.